again and welcome to another video from me Mr Arnold in this video we're going to talk about reverse percentages and I'm going to do a couple of problems for you to try and then I have five problems for you to have a go at and we've got some solutions to come after that so let's have a look at the first example it tells me the price of a bike has been reduced by 40% in a sale the sale price is £90 and we're asked to work out what the price was before the sale now just looking at this question here, the important information I can see is that it's been reduced. It has been reduced, and it's been reduced by 40%. And it also tells me that the new price is £90. So, how can I use this information to start the problem? Well, if it tells me that it's been reduced by 40%, well the old price was 100%, it must have been. And if I reduce that by 40%, well, I've got to take off 40%. That means that the new price must be 60%. So I know that this new price is 60%. So I can safely say that 60% must be equal to the £90. Now I've got to work out what 1% is. It's always nice to know what 1% is because I can go anywhere from this number. If I want to find out what 1% is, well, I must divide 60% by 60. 60 divided by 60 gives me 1. If I divide this side by 60, I've got to do the exact same thing on the other side to make sure everything is balanced properly. So I'm going to divide £90 by 60, and 90 divided by 60 gives us £1.50. So I know that 1% of the original price was £1.50. I have to work out what 100% of the original price was, which was the original price. And if I know what 1% is, to get 100%, I need to times it by 100. 1 times 100 gives me 100 and I've got to do the exact same thing on the other side I'm going to multiply by 100 as well and £1.50 multiplied by 100 gives me £150 so I know that the original price was £150 and that is how we do a reverse percentage when we've had a price reduced Let's have a look and see what happens when something increases. Right, this month, iTunes downloads have gone up. That's the important information. They've gone up 20% and they've gone up 20% to 48,000. And we're asked, how many downloads were there last month? Now, if I know that the original amount of downloads or the amount of downloads last month must have been 100%, the original amount of downloads last month must have been 100% and they've gone up they've gone up by 20% well if they've gone up that means I must add on 20% so that means the new amount must be 120% of what the original was so I can safely say that this 48,000 is 120% of what we had so 120% is 48,000. All right, and we're gonna follow the same method again, the unitary method. I'm gonna work out what 1% is first. I'm gonna work out what 1% is first, and in order to work out 1%, I've gotta divide by 120. So, I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. I'm gonna do 48,000 divided by 120 and 48,000 divided by 120 is going to give us 400 so I know that 1% is 400 well that must mean that 100% It's got to be 100 times 1%. So I'm going to multiply by 100. 
I'm going to multiply the other side by 100 as well because I'm going to do the exact same thing to both sides and 400 times 100 gives me 40,000 and that is how we do a reverse percentage when it has gone up or increased right guys that is all we need to know about reverse percentages for now so here I have five questions for you guys to try I want you to pause the video have a go at all the questions here and then after you've done those questions showing all of your workings that's incredibly important then I want you to have a look at the next slide which I'll bring up in a second and you can mark your work so pause the video now and have a go at these questions if you're not sure have a look at the two examples I've done again okay so hopefully you've had a go at all those questions and um, I'm hoping that you've also managed to get them correct here are the solutions on the next slide and if you haven't got something correct try and figure out what it is you've done wrong and see if you can figure out uh, how you can correct that mistake so please leave me a little comment after you've marked your work about how you found this video useful and if you understood the method thanks a lot and see you again sometime